Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and this demonstration blog is using WordPress version 3.0.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8 and you must be using thesis theme and you must be using version 1.8 in order for this video to apply to you. Earlier versions of the thesis theme 1.7, 1.6, 1.5, etc. will not apply to this video. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a graphical image, also known as a banner, to the header section or the top of your WordPress blog with the thesis theme. Now, at the top of the blog right now, we have the title, which is Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team, and underneath that, we have the tagline teaching WordPress and thesis theme. This is all text. This is not a graphical image. This is not considered a banner. What I'm going to do right now is log in or head over to the dashboard of this blog where I've already logged in. I'm just going to click on that tab. I'm going to scroll down. I just want to show you where, where you can find that text in case you're new to WordPress and then we'll get right on to uploading the graphical image. Okay, just click on the down arrow. Click on general and at the top of general settings in WordPress this is a WordPress function not a thesis theme function you can let me click here and you can see it says Jim's Max GXL marketing team that's the site title and under tagline or next to tagline we have teaching WordPress and thesis theme go back to the blog and you can see teaching WordPress and thesis theme is the tagline Jim's Max GXL marketing team is the title of this blog and that is text. We're going to replace it with a graphic image or a banner. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm just going to scroll down and you can see we've got this little tab that says thesis. I'm going to click where it says header image. Now before I click on choose file, let's just read that short paragraph. Right here it says based on your current layout settings the optimal header image width is 949 pixels. If your image is wider than this, don't worry, Thesis will automatically resize it for you. And for me that's a good thing because the banner or image that I'm going to upload is actually 960 pixels wide. So let's get started and let me show you how to do that. It's really easy. Just click choose file, just click it once, and this will bring you to the hard drive in your computer, on your computer, and you're just going to click through and find the on your computer just like you normally would and find the image that you need to upload. Now this automatically brought me to the folder that is called WordPress Demos. If I mouse over, I don't need to click, I just mouse over the image that I want to upload, it says the fourth line down, dimensions 960 pixels wide by 146 pixels tall. So that's just perfect. I'm going to click once here, and then I'm going to go down here and click open. You can see this is the name of the file, banner960.gif.gif, and I'm going to click upload. After you click upload, you'll see the image appear, which you can see and that's how you know you uploaded it. There's nothing to save after that. Now it says header image updated. Check your site. I never click that link because it takes us out of the dashboard. What I do is mouse over the name of the blog in the upper left hand corner, right click, get the drop down menu, and then left click where it says open link in a new tab. If you're on a Mac, just press the command key in the lower left hand corner, hold it down, and then click on the blog title in the upper left hand corner. I do that. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this tab, we're back to the blog, and you can see the banner, even though it's not fancy, it is aligned perfectly with the left edge of the navigation bar or nav menu, and perfectly with the right edge of the multimedia box in Thesis, and the right edge of sidebar 2. Okay, now I've just decided, you know what, I really don't like this, I want to get rid of it. So I go back to the dashboard. I mouse over here, and when I do that, you get this little red thing up in the left-hand corner. You mouse over that. Remove image becomes a little bolder. Just click on it. And actually, you can see this little tool tip that says, click here to remove the header. And just click it. That's it. And once you do that, you don't need to save. There's nothing to save. So just go back to the blog. Hit refresh or reload in the left-hand corner of your browser, and you'll see it 
the cool thing is not only does it take away the banner, but it puts the text back up there, the text that you need. Now, before we're done for the day, I just want to show you how what what happens if we upload an image or banner that's too small. Now, it says right here it should be at least 949 pixels wide. I'm going to click here and choose a banner. That is less than that. I'm going to mouse over this banner here, and you can see it says 750.gif. That's the name of it, so you think it might be 750 pixels wide, but it's not. You have to look down on the fourth line. It gives you the actual dimensions of that graphical image, and it's 653 pixels wide and 99 pixels tall. Now, 653 pixels wide is about 300 pixels shorter than what it should be or what is recommended by the thesis theme. This time I'm just going to double click on that image and you can see here banner 7 underscore 750 gif I click upload and there is the banner it looks great it looks kinda sharp let's see how it looks actually looks in our blog just go back to the blog hit refresh or reload or you can hit the F5 Foxtrot 5 key on the upper row of your keyboard I'm gonna click that now and there you go if the banner you upload is too small it's going to be too small in the header section it's and that's that's what's going to happen okay not to panic go back to the dashboard mouse over it again click remove image that's it you don't need to save anything back to the blog hit reload refresh or F5 so that's how you upload a banner image for thesis theme version 1.8 on WordPress and that's how you remove it and hope you have a great day thanks for watching